back to another video. My name is Kanisha. If you are new over here, the name of my channel is called Lux Living for Less. And over here, girl, we just talk about all the things that can give you that luxe lifestyle on a for less budget. Today's Friday. I am headed out to meet my sorority sister for dinner. Just wanted to show you guys quickly what I am wearing. I am wearing this thrifted blazer. Um, this is 100% silk. I thrifted this probably about a month ago. I'm wearing a basic white cami. I'm wearing some skinny leg jeans. I'm wearing my Preston and York loafers. I am wearing my husband's Gucci belt. And I'm gonna carry this oldie but goodie Ralph Lauren bag. I've had this bag for years. I just don't reach for it as much as I did when I got it. But I like the um, how it brings together the neutral look. So I'm gonna head out because I have about a 45 minute drive. So I will see you guys when I get there. Bye. Uh, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, show love, get love. You already know. Uh. I came to shine a light in here. Like, oh my, it's getting bright in here. Right. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, guys, I am here at the restaurant. Don't mind my bra straps. I have on a beige bra and a white tank. I am here at Barbara Jean's, Betty Joe's, Betty Jean something. It's on the river and um, they close at nine. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and get us a table. My sorority sister is um, on her way. So hopefully they we won't have too much of a wait, but I'll let you guys know how it is. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Saturday. Y'all, I'm up early. It is 7.43 a.m. I have an um, appointment at the hair salon. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! Yes, I know I normally go on Sundays, but she changed me to Saturdays, which I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay with. Before I go, I am here at Iliano. All right, so I got a pumpkin white mocha. I'm on this whole fall pumpkin spice thing. So that's this. And then I got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. You know, you gotta do your mouth like that, croissant, to get the pronunciation right. But this is that. Why well, look smashed? I'm not gonna even show that to y'all, but anyway, let's try this white pumpkin mocha and see what it's be. another sip because you know that first sip of anything that you have after you brush your teeth it be it be it'll be right so let's let me let me let me let it marinate and let me try it again y'all see my cheek bones Get that copper taste out of my mouth. 
If you have your extra care card, please enter phone number, then touch. All discounts will be included at the end of the order. Please remember to take your receipt. Thank you for shopping at CVS. Please remove all bagged items. showed y'all my nails I mean not like it's anything special to be shown I just really just said that like it was like something like innovative that nobody has ever seen before but I don't think I showed y'all my nails so y'all know I recently started getting polish on my nails right I told y'all I, I hadn't worn polish on my nails in over 20 years and before I went to Texas this last time I was in the salon and the lady convinced me to get polish or to get color rather and I've been doing it ever since so got my nails done the other day y'all these are my real nails I don't have any acrylic overlay or anything I just have a gel polish the lady tried to convince me to um get an overlay and I'm like no that's okay so, but these are my nails. Don't they look good, y'all? And if you say no, you gonna trip all day. Say yeah, be nice. After I leave the hair salon, I am going by the town center. I'm going to the Tiffany store and then I wanna look at, you know, see what charms they have so I can get another charm for my bracelet. My husband has been telling me to buy another one and I just have not because it has not been on my list of priorities of things to do um, after that i think i'm gonna go home and start digging into my closet there's some stuff in my closet that needs to come out and um i need to start rotating my fall pieces into the closet and rotating my summer pieces out so which i mean we live in florida you really never truly 100 percent rotate your summer pieces out and then i think I'm, that's gonna be it for this weekend real low-key real chill but if i do anything Y'all, is this what I would look like if I got a facelift? I say the most random stuff sometimes, but look at that. Like, look how look how much... This is like my 18-year-old face. This is my 40-year-old face. 18-year-old face. Look at that. Look, I got it. Y'all, did y'all... Have y'all ever noticed that I, that I have kind of a lazy eye? This one right here. Look at it. You see? Still cute, though. Hey y'all, I am back. Hair is done. I'm headed to the town center now. So, is this a new one I've been knocking? Oh, okay. Dang, every time I come out here, um, town center just looks so different, you guys. <laughs> because it's close to the holidays so of course I sent it to, to the hubs and you know drop those little holiday gift hints and I'm sure I'll have it sooner than I expect Wink. but now I'm on my way to Phoebe's and then I need to go buy a jeweler I need to have a battery put in a watch and the jeweler that I normally go to is is all the way downtown and that's kind of out of my way even though they still have my watch that I dropped off to have the last battery put in. Y'all, they probably gonna sold my watch. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's the, only, that's the last thing that I have left to do today. And then I am going to head home. Y'all, what look? It's a jeweler's right next to Fifi's. Mm, mm, mm.
y'all i thought i was gonna come and get me some soul food bistro today i mean lord have mercy i guess nobody wanted to cook today highlights for us family today is monday it is about almost seven o'clock in the p.m y'all so y'all know i'm going out of town this weekend to a birthday party I ordered these shoes from Fashion Nova because I wanted a pair of shoes that were gold and black and the YSL opium sandals that I wanted. I just not I was not willing to go there with the pain. So I went a less expensive option. These were only $23 from Fashion Nova. And I'm gonna try them on with this outfit. This is a gold shirt, gold shorts, gold shorts, black shorts, and I have a black blazer right here. These are the shoes. Now, I know this shoe looks pretty big on camera because it looks big to me. It's a size 10, and when I was reading the reviews, I'm normally a size 9. And when I was reading the reviews, it said to order a size up because this little baby right here is not the business. I tried these on earlier, and um, I'm glad I ordered a size up. I can already see that this is a shoe I'm not going to have a long time. It's not going to be... Um, because this right here, I, I can already see it popping, you know, but I'm going to try these on and we're going to see how it looks with the outfit. Okay, so here are the shoes so far. Um, I'm glad I ordered a size up because if I would have ordered my size, my toes would have been hanging over the top of this shoe. But so far, so far, they're okay. Um... They don't feel bad, but let's try on the whole outfit. Okay, so here is the complete outfit. I like it. The shoes go perfectly with the shorts. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Tuesday. Guess who I have in the car with me? She has a vet appointment this morning to get her shots. Um, amongst them are her um, just her regular her regular routine shots and then her annual rabies shot y'all she um she don't like riding in the car she'll ride in the car very often quite honestly the only time she rides in the car is when she's going to the vet but she be tripping like she got to have the window down as, as you can see i'm wearing a jacket it's a little chilly and this stuff we got to have the window down but luckily her vet is five minutes up the road so I am going to drop her off so they can get her fixed up. She's going to be mad at me when, when she come back home because she's going to be going to get all them shots. But I want to keep her healthy. And, you know, that's what she got to do. So I'm going to drop her off at the vet. And then I'm going to come back home and get my work day started. Okay, guys, Bella has been dropped off. The good thing is she actually was early for her shots. Um, she's not doing until December the 3rd, and um, they didn't want to give them to her early. Even though it's only a month out, still, they didn't want to give them to her early and um, risk making her sick. So I'm going to bring her back the first part of December to get her semi-annual and her rabies shots but i did leave her because um i have noticed that she's starting to itch a little bit um i've noticed it and before you know it gets to a point of where it's starting to break her out or anything like that i just want to have them look at her it's probably an allergy that she has that is a common condition in dogs so I'm just gonna have them to check her out to make sure she is all good. Y'all, these dogs are just as expensive sometimes as kids as far as their doctor's visits are concerned. So I'm fully expecting a vet bill of a couple hundred dollars today. Anyway, gotta keep her healthy, right? Y'all know my issue with back in the know. Y'all, Jesus.
look at me on the grass. Y'all, my husband, I ain't gonna be satisfied until he really, really fucks at me, but. guys so i'm gonna go ahead and go get my work day started i don't have to be to work until 8 30 but i'm up so i'm gonna go ahead and get my work day started hey guys today is still tuesday i am on my way to the dentist i was supposed to be there at five i get off at five and the dentist office is five minutes away so i was not leaving work early for that um, I think I did tell y'all about my fur baby. She, my little baby was sick, sick. My baby has a fever of 104. Um, whatever allergy she has is causing her to have a little fever. So, um, doctor is going to, they did have her on Abiquil allergy pills before and they did not work she she did not well they did not work long term so she actually has to get allergy shots now go figure so all of that cost me five five hundred and um thirty nine dollars but what am i going to do I'm not, am i gonna leave her down <laughs> so i'll pick her up when i head from the dentist i did decide to send my tiffany bracelet back you saw in a previous vlog um, where I shared things I purchased in October that I was on the fence about keeping it because I saw one in the Tiffany store that I liked a lot better. Um, so I am going to send it back because I do not need to. Okay, I'm done with my dentist appointment. I'm going to UPS to drop the um, box off. And then I'm going to pick up Bella. They said my teeth look great. And to continue my excellent at-home oral care. Um, my teeth feel great. My teeth always feel so good after I leave the dentist. I used to hate going to the dentist, y'all. And low-key, I still kind of do. But, you know... I, I, I gotta have these teeth for the rest of my life, so I guess I better take care of them, right? I have my fur baby. You can see her right there over my shoulder. I told y'all earlier, she has to hang out the window. $539 later, she is feeling better, but she got two follow-up appointments. Like, the things we do for our fur babies. But like I said this morning, I gotta make sure she stays healthy. Hey Lex for Lex family, today is Wednesday. I am up, I'm on my um, morning break. Y'all, I wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich this morning. I didn't want anything um, real breakfast-like. So, Today is the day my electrician is coming to install my mirror. He had to reschedule from Sunday and he is coming today um, sometime this afternoon. So I am very excited about that to go ahead and get that project wrapped up. I'm wearing my Christmas jammies. My husband bought these for me probably three or four Christmases ago. And um, it's just my tea, y'all. Just my green tea. Um, he bought those for me as a stocking stuffer um, a few years ago and they are so comfortable y'all I have done everything in these painted in them like <laughs> they just so comfortable you know how you just have some of those jammies that's even though they might not be the best thing to look at they're just comfortable these are these I use Splenda in my tea. I don't use regular granulated sugar in my tea. I don't know why, just, you know, just preference and honey. 
I try to get the raw honey, but y'all, honey is expensive too, y'all. Is the did the bees have um pan, do the bees have pandemic pricing or something? Y'all, I went to fresh um not fresh market, I went to uh French pantry. You know where I get the um sometimes where I go to get my husband's cakes and stuff. They had some raw honey in there, some raw orange, <clears throat> some raw local orange blossom honey. And if you know anything about local honey, you know that's best if you have any type of allergy. Um, because the bees are the honey is harvested from local bees, it tends to help with, you know, your allergies that you have. But they had some raw local orange blossom honey. Tell me why they wanted eighteen dollars for that honey. I I went, you know, up there to put my husband's cake on the counter, and I was like, oh, I, I like to get one of these. She rang it up. I said eighteen dollars. I said, oh no, I don't want to get one of those anymore. And she laughed because you know it was a mutual understanding. Eighteen dollars is not the will of God over my life for some honey. So I just got this from Publix, and I'm probably going to go this weekend to Fresh Fields and buy the raw local honey. It's not orange blossom, but it is raw and local, and I think their jar is about $8, so much better than the $18 that uh, the French Pantry is trying to charge. But anyway, I will update you all when the electrician gets here, and um, I'll let you see the final result. Hey, y'all. Okay, so update on the mirror. The electrician was here. He just left. He has to go to Home Depot and get a small part that is needed to um, complete the installation, um, which I thought was included with the mirror, which is not. So he's, he ran to Home Depot to get that. And y'all, that mirror installation is more involved than I thought it was. And I see why my husband said he wasn't messing with it. And um, he's going to install the vanity light. And then my husband is going to you know, replace the toilet paper holder and all of that stuff. And then I could be done with that bathroom. But just wanted to give you guys an update. Once it is finished, I will share the finished result with you guys. I, I still think it's going to be really nice. That mirror is really a nice touch. And um, it will definitely be a conversation piece for guests that come over, you know, and use that bathroom when they, um, whenever or if ever we have a, another function. So... I will bring it to you guys during the process of installation and when it is completed. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning, Lux for Less family. Today is Thursday. Y'all, so the electrician just left. He had to come back today to finish the install of my mirror. Y'all want to see it? So here's the mirror. It does have a motion sensor option. I have not completely figured out how that works yet. I have to read the instructions. But here's the mirror. He had to cut a hole in the wall to get to the power source because otherwise it came with the plug if you didn't want to you know do the whole cutting out of the wall thing where you can plug it in but that kind of defeats the purpose right so here's the mirror this is what it looks like i love it the vanity lights were changed out and um this faucet this faucet is going to be changed out to this so there you can kind of see the whole look together. My husband's going to do that when he has some free time when he's not working. But yeah, this is the mirror, you guys. I absolutely love it. And once the whole bathroom is um, done, you know, I still have a few little miscellaneous things to change. Like these are going to be gone. I just have to find something to replace it. And then these are going to be replaced with these smart switches. And then that's going to be it, you guys. So once I complete the, the whole look, I will definitely bring it to you. All right, guys. Bye. The next day. Oh, excuse the way I am looking. Y'all know I work from home. I had to make a quick stop. I mean, a quick run out on my lunch break to um, pick up my clothes. The ones I dropped off for 
alterations about two weeks ago or so. Um, I don't even, I don't have a whole lot else, a whole lot else. I don't have a whole lot that's going on for the remainder of the day. I, I am going to be preparing tonight to leave for my trip tomorrow. Today is pretty much uneventful. Highlights for less family. It is later on in the morning, Friday. I'm getting ready to head out for my trip. Just wanted to show you my traveling outfit. I'm just wearing a Ralph Lauren um, cable knit sweater. It's blue. I have on black um, skinny jeans and then my white Vapor Max. These are so comfortable, y'all. Wear my Old Faithful Michael Kors watch and then just some Alex and Nani bracelets. And just did a slight little bump and curl to my hair. I washed it last night and then that's going to be it. So I'm headed out the door. Um, hopefully, um, I am on schedule actually. Hopefully, um, I can get there about three and beat the rush hour traffic and yeah we'll see it's raining right now it's cold outside so i'm going to go ahead and leave since the rain is going to um cause me to have to drive a little slower which y'all know i do not like driving in the rain so i will check you guys later <laughs> Alright y'all, eyebrows are waxed. Forehead a little shiny, but eyebrows are waxed and I'm debating now if I want to get me something to eat or if I want to just go ahead and start driving. I think I'm gonna do the ladder up to two. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys probably when I get about to Orlando. Thank you.